All right, in this lesson, I think we're ready to uh, add some VAV units into that ceiling plenum space. Uh, let's go back into our plenum view, which we're up in the ceiling space. And I'm going to add a piece of mechanical equipment. I can go off of here and say uh, mechanical equipment, or I can just scroll down here. Mechanical equipment, I've been looking, and we've got some VAV units, different sizes with inlets. So I'm just going to pick this size 5 over here and drag it in. Now, as I place it, I can use my spacebar to rotate it around. I'm in my plenum level, which is nice and safe, at 3,300. And above that, because I, want, I don't want it right at the plenum, I want it up into it. I think about, I want it about 5... Let's say 550 up. Okay, now as I place this, I'm aware that the the positioning of the inlet and outlets on this. So I'm going to rotate this around so that my supply is like, um, let's say I'm going to make my supply come out of it like that. Okay, see this is the out. Okay. And then I'm going to put another one somewhere over here, maybe right inside this room, and the same type of thing, and click. Okay. So let's that happens to be going right through my cross section. Let's double click and open that up. Okay. Let's go back to my main floor and pull that section back a little bit. Uh, plenum, sorry. Uh, let's pull this back and have a look at where those guys got situated. Click, click. There they are up in the ceiling space. Okay, not too bad. Now, what I want to do is just have a look at this uh, family. I always open up these families to see what's in there. So let's pick on this family and say edit family. So this is our mechanical equipment. Okay, and these are the connectors. These are what's important. When you click on this connector, it's going to tell you what system type, what classification it is, and a lot of the juicy information. This is the intelligence of that piece of mechanical equipment. Okay, so we've got, if you click on here, it's a connector element power balance. So it's a power balance connector, and we can add more connectors inside of here by going in electrical connector, pipe connector, cable, conduit, electrical duct connector. So if I hover over this connector, it's telling me that this is a rectangular connector and it is a supply air outflow. Okay, so this is outbound supply air from this piece of mechanical equipment. And it is set to be 400 by 350 in dimensions. That's the connector size of that when I tie into that piece of equipment. Now, I also have another little connector over here, which is also a supply air. Um, specified, it is a diameter of um, 250, so 10 inches, okay? So I have an option. I have two real um, connectors. I can, I can supply air from here. I can supply air from here. This is my return air guy over here. If I click on here, this is my return air. So when I look at this from the top, okay, you can see there's the supply or sorry, there's the return, there's that round supply, there's the rectangular supply, there's the electrical connector. So those are really the four connectors on this piece of equipment. Okay, so that's why I want to position that accordingly. Close off that family. Save changes, no. Okay, so there's our VAV units sitting there. There's that little 10 inch connector. If I go back to my plenum space, okay, so I've got my two VAV units that are going to um, supply um, return and exhaust air and positioned in my building. 